Welcome to Toffee TV to the Everton News Daily. It is Wednesday the 23rd of May 2018. Marcel Brands has spoken to EvertonFC.com for the first time. Done his first interview with the club regarding his uh, appointment as the director of football at Everton Football Club. Oddly enough, the interview took place in PSV Stadium. Uh, holding up an Everton shirt surrounded by, by red. Uh, but he come across brilliantly well putting forward his, his ideas of where he wants uh, Everton to go, um, saying, you know, it's not going to be easy, but he's got a clear plan of what he wants to do. Starting with this summer, getting players in that will make Everton a better team straight away. Uh, the other things he's going to work on is the youth team as well, uh, developing youth that can go into the first team, uh, not talking about you know, bring, develop players to be sold or anything like that, developing players that can be that can be uh, put into the first team. So he's going to work alongside Professor Denise Barrett Baxendale uh, to get the best results for Everton. And in his head, he knows he knows the plan. He knows what he wants to do. Um, having spoken to the club and, and moving forward, he said obviously it was very hard for him to leave PSV, a job he absolutely loves. But he said the challenge of Everton, a massive club. He said that everybody knows um, was too good to to to, to pass up. Um, and and yeah, he said he said he's really looking forward to it. He's obviously one of his first jobs as well would be picking a manager. He said they're looking for a a young young coach who wants to work with youth players as well. So um, he's saying all the right things, being very positive and very forthright about about the job. It's not going to be easy, but he's up for the challenge and knows what it takes to get the job done, which is a uh, fantastic fantastic news. So he's he's obviously going to be looking to get. The uh, the Everton manager in as fast as possible. Obviously, a lot of speculation that he's going to talk to Marco Silva in the uh, in in the in the coming days, if not weeks, probably days. I would imagine it seems like it's something they're going to try and wrap up as quick as they can. So, uh, brilliant interview. We haven't caught it already. It's over on Everton's website. Uh, so go and catch it there. Wayne Rooney, he is on his way to Washington. In fact, he's probably already there. He has gone to speak to DC United about a potential move to the MLS club. Now, this is not signed, sealed, and delivered. This is, uh, as 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 I've seen it reported, a fact-finding mission. Listen, he's already, or it's been reported that he's already agreed the terms. He's gone over there to look at the facilities, speak to them, see the new stadium, uh, and then come back to Everton to make to make his mind up. He had the full. Permission of Everton Football Club. He said he said, or he's been reported saying that he's hurt and disappointed by the fact that Everton are willing to let him go, um, and this could be what going back to something that Marcel Brands, Brands has indicated that he wants to do, which is uh, lower the wage bill by getting you know some senior players off the wage bill who are not necessarily playing all the time or or would be seen as. Surplus to requirements, basically, and Wayne Rooney seems to fit into that into that mold. Um, it see it does seem now that Everton would be sort of happy, or certain people at Everton would be happy to see Wayne Rooney leave to get him off the wage if he's not going to play next season, and that might be the little push Wayne Rooney needs to decide his future lies elsewhere. Although you know, as I said, he's going to speak to the manager, uh, whoever that might be, and get clear indications. I th- I, th- I still think he wants to stay um, at Everton Football Club and not disrupt this family and you know have his last year and then go into coaching. But obviously, if if he's not going to play and the club are actively seem to be helping him get a move away, then then it might suit all parties. Uh, going back to Marcel Brands, he said that he would like to speak to Adam Ola Luckman about his future. Um, he said that he's watched. Not only did he watch Everton, but he watched Everton players who were on loan. And I don't know the Luckman's name come up. Not in the interview with Everton, but it was something that's been reported in the Telegraph. Then that he wants to speak to him and he wants to keep him at the club. So that's that's absolutely fantastic news um, going forward. That he wants to he wants to keep him at the club because um, obviously a lot of people are big admirers of Adam Ola Luckman, but some people like myself had the feeling that maybe we'd lost him to. Uh, to either Leipzig or another club if he digged his heels and he would obviously get a move because that's that's football nowadays. But Marcel Brands is going to try and convince him that he's got a big future at Everton and, and to stay and, and uh, you know 
see how it goes next season. Uh, another player who's currently on loan is Henry Onyekuru. Besiktas are interested in taking the Nigerian striker on loan next season. Now, obviously, he has missed out on the World Cup. He doesn't want to go back to And Anderlecht, apparently, according to reports in Nigeria, because he feels that he he hadn't been playing because they were trying to uh, stop him from playing. So he would miss the World Cup, wouldn't get a work payment, and would stay there. Now, if he does, he does go to Besiktas. I think it'd be a fantastic move for Everton. It would help develop that relationship more. Obviously, they we've got one of theirs, obviously permanent. They'd have one of ours, and I think that little bond between the two clubs could grow, and something could come out of it. Maybe some, maybe some friendlies. Um, just trying to get Besiktas fans to be Everton fans. I, I'm telling you right now from this channel alone, when we put a Toshin video out, the numbers go through the roof. They are so hungry to get news on Sheng Tosin and hear all about how well he's doing. So I think that would be a fantastic thing to uh, to explore and try and benefit from, hopefully anyway, um, going forward. That's about it from the Everton News Daily today. There's a few little stories knocking around, like like Clive Ayrt to Everton. Oh, not Patrick, his son. Um, but you're going to get a lot of those stories now with with Marcel Brands in a lot of players that he's worked with in the past or has links to because of, because they're Dutch are going to be linked with Everton in the next few weeks. Um, how many of them come off? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let's hope there's more news tomorrow, more big news, whatever whatever it is. You'll find it out here on the Everton News Daily. Keep your eye out for all the videos we've done. We've done one on the manager situation. We've done um, season previews. We've done director of football debates we've covered that we've covered everything basically and what we haven't covered is over on patreon make sure you check that out thanks for watching toffee tv i'll see you later